What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to get some very similar features in iOS 8 on your iOS 7 jailbroken device. So the first one I want to go ahead and start off with is your quick reply tweak that you're going to be using on your iOS 7 device. Now as you guys know in iOS 8 you do get a quick reply feature but this has been something that we've been using on a jailbroken phone or device for quite some time now. So there's a several that you can actually download. You can download Byte SMS, which is an extremely popular one. Also Corio, which is a free alternative, as well as Aki. Now I actually use Aki, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So if I send myself a text message right here, you're gonna see that I get a banner notification right up here at the top. Now if I want to quick reply, all I need to do is tap on quick reply right there, and then I can obviously quickly reply just like that. Just tap reply and then it's off so you never actually have to get out of whatever application you're in or whatever you're doing on your device now once iOS 8 is released you can actually add widgets to your notification center so this is gonna be looking a little bit different in iOS 8 there's only gonna be two tabs right up here at the top the today as well as the notifications we're gonna get rid of that missed tab right there and then you're gonna scroll all the way down here and there's gonna be an edit button which you can tap on and then add your widgets so you can do that with a jailbroken device you can also add widgets to your springboard now this is something that you're not gonna be able to do in iOS 8 but you can do it very easily on a jailbroken device so right now I'm just going to uh, change up my layout right there and that's using a tweak called boxy and then you can just tap and hold right here and it's going to pop up a tweak called iWidgets now this is going to allow you to select whatever widgets that you can download separately on Cydia right here so let's just say we wanted to add our calendar and then just tap add and then bam there's our calendar widget right there on our home screen now the next iOS 8 feature I want to talk about is called quick type now of course you've been able to do this on a jailbroken device for quite some time and all you need to do is download a tweak called predictive keyboard so if we jump into our notes right here you're gonna see exactly what predictive keyboard does as well as quick type you can see these three options for words right here so these are basically giving you suggestions so if you start to type something it's smart so it's going to give you uh, some options right here when you start to type things so let's just say we're gonna say hey what is going on so you can see what is going on easy as that so once you start typing it's going to give you suggestions right up there you just tap on the suggestion that you're going to use or that you're looking for and you've probably noticed my keyboard right here now this is called alt keyboard 2 so in iOS 8 you're actually going to have the ability to add third-party keyboards and if you want to you can already do that on a jailbroken device so right now I'm using alt keyboard 2 so this basically gives you the ability to do a whole bunch of things if you want to scroll through the text you can easily just swipe over just like that rather than having to tap and move that little magnifying glass you can also just swipe up on letters to use that alternate key right up there as you can see right there also swiping down is going to give you the capitalized letter of that key so there's a ton of features I'm not going to do a entire review of this keyboard but if you want to check that out then you can check out our channel for a full review all right so the next thing I want to talk about here is touch ID for third-party applications so usually with touch ID all we were able to do is unlock our device as well as use it as a password for iTunes but now in iOS 8 they're giving you the ability to do the exact same thing with third-party applications so you can just scan your finger and it's automatically going to type in your password and there could possibly be some more features in iOS 8 regarding the touch ID just because we're still in beta 1 so there's still some changes to come but on a jailbroken device you're able to do this with Asphalia there's also a few others like bio lockdown and bio protect but I use Asphalia on my device so that's the one I'm going to show you here so what I use this for is basically just to uh, add another level of security to my financial applications so usually these are in a folder but I don't have them in a folder right now so I have fidelity options house pay, uh, PayPal not Pandora that's not financial but you can see right here if I tap on PayPal I have to scan my finger before I can actually open up the application so we scan our finger and it automatically launches just like that now there's also a tweak that is going to allow you to scan your finger to input passwords but it actually didn't work really well when I did a review of it so I can't say I really recommend it so the next feature we have on iOS 8 is called hey Siri so this is going to allow you to basically just say hey Siri whenever your device is plugged in and it's going to prompt Siri and initiate Siri so you can make a Google search or you can set a timer whatever you want to do with Siri 
Now we also have a recent tweak that has been submitted to Cydia called OK Siri. So you can see right here that I have my device plugged in and we also have a little icon right up here, little indicator saying that it's listening basically. So all you need to do is just say OK Siri to your iDevice and then it should launch. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. OK Siri. All right, so you can see right there that it automatically launched Siri just by me saying, OK, Siri. So a pretty cool little feature. I do believe that the iOS 8 feature, Hey Siri, is going to work quite a bit better than the OK Siri tweak. But again, if you're not updating to iOS 8 for whatever reason, then you can always get that functionality with this tweak. Next up in iOS 8, we have a new feature that's going to allow you to change the name of your conversations if it's a group conversation. So you can do this with message renamer on iOS 7. So all you need to do is just tap and hold and it's going to give you a little pop-up box right here that you can rename, reset, or cancel. So if you want to rename, just tap rename and then change it to whatever you want. As you can see right there, it changes. So this is something that's going to allow you to change not only group messages, but also single messages. So you're not going to be able to do that in iOS 8 or not in the beta 1 at least. Maybe that's something that they'll change in a future beta or the official release, but probably not because most people aren't going to change the name of a conversation if it's just one person. And last but not least, in iOS 8, if you swipe up on the control center, you're going to see once you start to slide the brightness slider, it actually brightens up the back springboard right here because you can see as you swipe up, it actually dims. But now in iOS 8, when you tap on that, it's going to brighten up the springboard back there and give you a more accurate reading. So right here, you can do this with control undim. So in the control undim, it's actually going to make the control center transparent right there. Now that's not something that's going to happen on iOS 8, but it is still going to give you that live brightness in the background on the springboard. So there are those iOS 7 jailbreak tweaks that are going to give you those iOS 8 features. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.